So it was, it was a home, you know, people were close, and it was a good place to grow up. So, I mean, when I was younger, yeah, I enjoyed the hill better when I was younger because people were more friendly. Well, when I was younger, the Hill District had a whole lot of community centers. They had uh, places for the kids to go and hang out during the day when they get out of school. Um, today, the kids don't have anywhere to go. They come outside their house. They raid on in the area. People uh, drug community uh, fested a lot of areas, and so so you know the heroes used to be like sports athletes. Watch some kids play sports and stuff like that there. Now when they come outside. All they see is people using drugs, selling drugs, and things like that there. And more uh, a lot parts of the hill, which is really a negative influence on the kids. But um, as far as like uh, to the adults, as far as it, it changed as far as um, in a lot of ways for the good as far as like there's less bars and different things like that on the hill. And they had more things like they opened up like the YMC up here, which is a good example. And uh, they're rebuilding a little bit up on the hill, so that's good. But um, nowadays you say something, you might get you might get shot, so you about to keep your mouth shut, you know. And then if you say something to the um kid, they don't tell you off. You're gonna hit me. I'm gonna call the police. That child abuse. I'm pretty sure that the older ones in my age and stuff, they gave up. I don't know why they on the corner doing what they doing, you know. And then they look bad for one thing. They are uh, they in their 50, 60 years old. They should be somewhere else, but they staying on the corner. But uh, did you see that? So that's what you get all this violence, that's where the street comes in at. Like you said, you got some kids that want to be around their um, two-parent home, but um, it ain't happening. Right, exactly, and that's how we want to keep on going. Yeah. But you figure the next, but you got parents, you got grandparents and stuff. Now, it's, um, the parents is in their teens and stuff. How could they know what to do with their kids when they didn't even know how to, um, they wasn't even raised up, you know what I'm saying? I think most of the public has the wrong idea of the Hill District. They think that it's just uh, a lot of crime, um, a lot of negative things going on. But for me growing up and in living here now, there's so much more to the Hill District. There's so much more to learn and to experience here. And I just think people have the wrong idea. I heard a man, uh, a, a, a billionaire, they asked him a question. They said, he had all this money. And they asked, and they said, well, what did you consider enough money? Well, he thought about it for a minute, he said, more. And I believe there's a lot of John D. Rockefellers or John D. Rockefeller wannabes trying to get to where he was at, and they're thinking more. So they'll tell you one thing, you know what I mean? They'll come with their blankets and say, we want to keep you warm, not knowing there's smallpox in the blankets poor community or or, 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 or or lower class or not part of the plan. So it had to it had to start with the youth. How you can get the youth to the next level and that will if that will snowball and impact the health of every generation. For them to really make life better on the hill is it, 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 to have more programs to encourage the youth to get uh, to have hopes and uh, dreams and and uh, doing something with their lives and getting their lives together. So that's what's gonna make it a, a difference. You know, it's the next generation moving ahead. We're, we're fighting against ourselves when we fight against each other.